into the final now of the Bowls is Bowls European Open. We have William Boggs and Gary McNabb up against Sol Featherstone and Glenn Harvey. Just having their trial ends. Thank you for all those who have joined us over the course of this weekend. We've enjoyed being back again, playing some competitive bowls. Please let us know if you have got any questions whilst we play in this final. If you've got any questions, some questions with regards to the actual competition itself, let us know. Hi, Mark. Yeah, I will let you know the score in the plate final. And if this final does finish ahead of the plate final, I'll move across to that one. I'll keep, so I'll keep you up to date on the scores. This is the first time we've had. An indoor outdoor bowler who's qualified for plate finals, that's good. And also Mark is sponsoring this uh, event, so he's gonna have to present the shield to himself. Sister skips to play there. Last trial ends here. Last two bowls each, and then we'll be off and underway here. Should be an exciting match. Speaking to the some of the players in the last couple of rounds here, I'm just saying how their energy levels just starting to flag a little bit. In normal times, they would have been bowling competitive bowls quite a bit and would have been used to it having 18 months off. Just trying to get back into a routine. All right, so. Just going to toss now. Glenn and Sol to get us underway. Sol playing with the oh, turquoise bowl, shall we say. to start with for the two leads. Better bowl here from Sol. And good adjustment from both players there with the second bowls. Good from Gary. Yeah, perfect. Back toucher. Unfortunately, he's not made it any easier for himself there. Tipping Gary's bowl completely behind the jack. Right. When you'll be drawing him for two here. Yeah, good line, just wants to 
nicely into this. Well, he's made two, but he has given he has given Glenn a little shoulder to rest on. Chance for free on the first end. Looks good. Oh, you wouldn't believe that. Got straight through the gap. It looks like it might just be the two. Two shots. So, two to Gary and William on the first end. Jason Parkinson and Mark Courtney 2 0 up in the plate final. Well, a bit short from Gary with the first one there, just finding. Finding the weight here. All these mats, whilst they are the same, they will be slightly different. Never get two mats the same. Mm. It's just, uh, yeah, whilst it is shot, there's still plenty of room now. This is end that Gary's had for a while. Very consistent in the semi-final. Well, that's a better line for Sol, just has the weight. Well, all four bowls short. Ryan James, thanks for joining us. Not got any players from Scotland. Well, Lawrence, is, Lawrence Moffat's been playing here this weekend. few players from Wales and obviously William and Gary have come from Ireland to play this weekend. Here, Glenn's got to try and draw the shot. He looks to be on a good line for his bowls. All on the weight. Looks good. Yeah, very good. Play here. So I think that's looking, looking at a couple of yards into the outside bowl. Catch that. Caught the inside bowl first. Then looking to draw him for two. There's a little bit of room there for him. Yeah, very good. Two shots. I go back to two all after two ends. Yeah, 
good start for both teams so far in this final. Boston Jack. Oh, I almost changed it, that's good. Back position, toucher and shot. So Gary's gonna go for this. This is a brave shot. He's gonna have to play a lot of weight to get that jack in clean. Looks to be on the wide side there. Well, he might have got a result there. That's not what he was looking for. <laughs> Glenn's shaking his head. Definitely not what he was after. He has got the shot though. Oh, good. It was a difficult shot to get the jack in clean. You could only just about see the jack. But, got the shot, that's the important thing. There's a big push on that pole. Just over the pace. Got a good back position again. Chance for William now. And he's out on a good line. Yeah, very good. Oh, it just slipped out though. to adventurous here, just a draw. Looks to be a better weight already. That's good here, good adjustment. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, just saying, just need to make contact with the shot bowl. Pop the jack back to Williams first. Oh, very close. Good effort. One, two, Glenn and Sol. So they go into a 3 2 lead after three ends. Tell you that it's currently. It's currently 5 0 to Jason Parkinson and Mark Courtney in the plate final after three ends. Good start from Sol here. Gary's not quite got into this final just yet. I want to change that here. Yeah, good reply. Very good. Looking for any movement on the jack. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh, Gary's just just missed out there. Not quite, sorry, not quite on fire at the moment. Had a very good semi-final. Two now in the plate final. Jason and Mark still in front now. Then play two good draws down on this forehand, going back this way. Last time, he's done it again. Three in a row coming this way. Good bowling. Jack. Ah, very good. 
Very good shot there from William. He's got the shot. Made two of it as well. And just seeing what he needs to do here. Hi, Kai. Thanks for joining us. Hope you keep him well. Let's see what Dwayne does here. He hasn't got the back position, which is the bad thing at the moment. Hi Helen, this game's not on YouTube live, we on Facebook live obviously, but we will be putting it on YouTube in the future. Yeah, that was the danger from Glenn now. I think he's actually given it made free of that now to William and Gary. Yeah. Big draw for four. Yeah, big end. The Irish pair here. That was the danger in being tight and obviously not having any back position. Yeah, I don't think that will hold on. I'll take the three. So we see Jason Parkinson about to bowl in the plates competition. Five three here. 5-3 here after four. Sonny Gary, you fancy playing down to this or just draw again? He's going to go for the draw. He's coming well. Asking for the jack. Oh, 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 he did clip it. Just not quite going for him at the moment. It's been... He's got good back position. William's definitely got to try and get something behind here. The reverse of the previous end where the back position was all in favour of the Irish pair this time. It's Glenn and Sol who have got the back position. that a lot better. That's not what he was looking for, but right, Glenn's going to be down to this. Better wait. So all of these players have reached the latter stages of SMPT events in the past. Yeah, good shot from Glenn. Very good. Start again. Glenn can do that one more time without punishment. A better start from Gary, more like his usual self. Good reply from Sol, just slipped through the gap. A bit of chalk though. Gary will stick to the draw again. 
Get here. Right on his selves forehand. Looking for the jack. No, oh, it's gone their way <laughs> this time. Not the what they were looking for, but it has gone their way. And they touch her in the ditch, touch is holding. Important that they keep the pressure on. Don't want to let Gary and William win the end and get too far ahead here. So William's just underneath this. Yeah, it's playing with um, Taylor Blaze bowls, which are slightly narrow profile, so they do tend to find holes quite easily. They do suit these mats very well. A lot of the players are using those bowls here this weekend. Draw here for Glenn. He's out on a good line. Should come back. Oh, that's not what he wanted, though. Just say, just overdraw here. Don't need to be too positive. This just make sure you get contact. Don't want the jack. Ooh. And that's the problem with the back bowl position, not having the back bowl position. It looks like it should be free here to Glenn and Salt. He draws this bowl in for free. Just gotta make just gotta make it in. Yep, three shots. So six five now to Glenn and Sol. I tell you that it's seven three to Jason Court, uh, Jason Parkinson and Mark Courtney in the plate final. It's Brian McGiven. Gary's changing it, going for the jack for the first bowl, likes it. Very good. Yeah, well that can't be beaten, so that's the definitely one. Totally thrown, totally thrown soul there. So Gary drawing in for two. Hope he seems to certainly beat those front balls. So how close he gets here is good. Yep, that's good. See the jack in the ditch. That'll get Gary going. Big bowl from Glenn needed here. Really need to get in for second. Comes on a good line. There's the pace. Not bad. Yep, I think that's crept him. Crept him for second. Yeah, very good there. Made free of that. Yeah, I would. So, very big bowl from Glenn needed now. Dropping a big count otherwise. Just going for the two bowls here. Apart from the draw. Very good. Stayed on. I don't know if it's made a difference though. 
it's one or two. So it looks like it's just the ones. A good shot from Glennie's. Cut that down. There's an opportunity still for three here. Big bowl winner again. Seems to be every one. <laughs> every bowl's a big one. He's playing it on the forehand. He's going to drop down to the Glenn's last bowl. Push it away. Stay for three. Stay up. Stay up. Very good. Three shots. Yep, three shots. So, eight six now to Gary and William after six ends. Eight six after six ends. Good reply from Sol. Gary looking to be positive himself here. Drop down there, it's just a bit wide. Looks a bit wide when he let go of it. And he's got quite big swinging bowls. Even that didn't come back. Sol's been told to make sure he gets past with this one, which he looks like he is. He needs to stay on. Yeah. Sometimes it is in the mind when you skip to make sure you're past it. from William but it has given Glenn something just to reach down to on his forehand. Let's see what he does. Again if you were here this weekend there's no what you thought of the event. Yeah, good bowl from Glenn. Leave us a comment on the video here. Got any questions? Same thing. Try and get them answered for you. Good to see so many new faces and familiar faces this weekend. Now, still one down, I think, William now. He wanted the split rather than the outside of that bowl. Had a really big bowl in the last end. So, chance for Glenn to make two here. Out nice and wide. Oh, she's not going to hold on. Looked good actually, halfway up. And one shot. That's eight seven now to Gary and William after seven ends. Start from Salt. That's what he needs. Good final so far, only one in it. Looks like Gary's underneath here. Bowling from the soul on this end. Putting the pressure right on. Putting the pressure right on Gary. Gary's going to be up at this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, he's opened it. And he's taken a bowl away, so he'll settle for that, I think.
Thanks, Brenda. Glad you enjoyed the weekend. Hopefully we can do it all again in November. Yeah, good bowl from Glenn. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Even nothing really for William to do other than the dead draw. Let's see what, let's see what William does here. Just fall to the error there from just falls in the error. This could be a big end here. We pick up a three. I can tell you it's now eight four to Jason Parkinson and Mark Courtney in the final of the plate. Two ends to go there. made it any easier for William to get shot. He's just got to get in for second now. Forget the shot. Can't be dropping more than one. Yeah, that's enough. That, that'll do. We'll be happy with one down. All square. Eight all after eight ends. Two ends to go. who the 2001 Bowls is Bowls European Open Pairs champions are. Yeah, yeah good start. Come this way. Yeah, good here. That's a great bowl from Sol there. Got the jack perfect. Sat behind. Up quite well at the back. So, and Glenn, who have the advantage at the moment, got the back position and also have shot. Good here. Good here. Oh, if that dropped, that would be even better. It's in the count. It has given a little rest for William. It's going to still be perfect. Well, on the weight here. Might fly the way, though. Oh, he's over the weight. Yeah. He wanted to make sure he was there. Playing it with that weight, you needed it perfect. Oh, it's Glenn in for free here. He is. Oh, a ho, ho. couple of their little rubs, but he was very good weight. Very, very good weight. And I think it sat quite nicely because even if William plays this plant, I don't think the, the jack's moving. Yeah, I don't think the jack's going to move. He's got to clip the shot bowl, I think, to shoot the jack off the mat. Quite a lot of weight to it, though. I 
they were all square on the scoreboard, eight all, but Sol and Glenn are holding free in the head currently, and they've got all the position. I think even that plant just, they don't see the jack moving with the plant. I don't think it will. Now they're up to the course. This is the draw on the forehand, drawing for second. You could get shot. Just a draw. Don't think he's around. Oh, that's a big end. Let's see he's three shots to Glenn and to Sol. So they go 11 8 up going into the last end. Big last end now required from Gary. And William. Glenn's last bowl that caused the, the real problems there for William. What a bad start. Yeah, good from Gary, just what they needed. They're just joining us, it's 11-8 here to Sol and Glenn in the last end. Gary and William need a free to take us to a tie break. Uh, that's good there. Gary's just going to try and put a bit of pressure on, drop in for two, which he's done. Yeah. Now, I think Glenn's just going to be positive on the forehand here. Any jack movement's really good. Pushes the second bowl away, it's good. Is he just drawing down to it? He's just drawing down to it, wow. Wow. 8 4 currently, Alan, in the plate final to Jason Parkinson and Mark Courtney and they are holding one on this ninth end as well so holding game against Brian and Martin oh, it's William here this one was he too quick just too quick we could be we could be him for a tie break. A tie break could be happening. So Mark Courtney and Jason Parkinson have won the plate. So we see Glenn trying to make sure he reaches a bit more with this one. It's a better weight. He had a better weight, he was just a fraction tight. So it's all on this last bowl from William now to drop him. He needs to drop him for free to take us to an extra end, or to a tie break, sorry. Let's see what happens. Does he like it? Easy, Bob. Easy. Just run out, I think, so I think that's two. 
I think that's yeah, two shots. So that is the Bowls' Bowls European Open tire to to Glenn and Sol. Really good play there from both the guys. They take home the title and the £500 prize money. Just leaves me to say thank you very much for all of you who have joined us here this weekend. It's been good to be back playing and we'll see you all again very soon. Please uh, continue to put your comments on the videos and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again at our next event back here at Falcon in Chelmsford in November on the 27th and 28th of November. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Goodbye.